Nice ant here. What? Bruh. I ain't never seen a Cami player wake up with seeing heavy kick, bro. Yo, yo, yo. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Punk here, and we back with another video and another day of Punk Reacts because we are, of course, watching that Street Fighter League Japan. And today we are on episode 7, day 2. So you know what to do. Bars. We might have to start using that in these, no cap. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn the post notification bell on. And let's get into this video. Our first match today is going to be Otani versus Moke. This is a very interesting choice. They send him Ryu to go up against Rashid. Not very sure on that decision. Oosh, footies. They just feeling each other out in neutral. Otani is really looking for that low forward confirm. Ooh, nice punish there. Ooh, he didn't get to confirm. But nice EX fireball. Hold on. Otani playing pretty good. I can't lie. I do like the way he's playing this matchup. If you were to go in this matchup, you definitely have to play this way. Like the footsie battle. Which is not too bad for Ryu. The footsie battle is not bad. Oh, man, the confirmed. Moke have to really... He got to watch them toes, bro. Them toes are exposed. Them open toe sandals, them chancletas. Oh, no! Bro, they, they're exposed right now. You got to... You're going to have to watch them, bro. Oh, man. I guess Moke said he's not going to let him play any offense, actually. Even if Otani was confident in this matchup, I'm not letting him fight Rashid with Ryu, bro. If he played Akuma still, I would. But playing Ryu, no. Damn. That was kind of free after the first game. Oh, and Moke is popping off. Because they sent Otani up there as a counter pick. Hold on, you got Momochi versus Mago? Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. This not even a final match? Who the final match? It must be Fujimura versus... Is it Mizuha last? I've never really seen this matchup or played it. I've never really played it myself. Besides, like, I played it with a Kara, but I've never played it as Karen. So I'm not exactly sure how it feels to play as her, but I feel like she would have a slight advantage. Oh, mm, my good shimmy. Oh, no, bad confirm. All right, this round is looking very bad. There's not really much to say in this matchup. Like, you can see it. You know, I'm sure you can understand it. Like, they're just playing neutral, and Momochi is just really getting the best of Mago and neutral right now with the hit confirms, the button placements, everything. Like, right now, Mago is playing Momochi's game because Momochi is just looking so good. Well... Oh, you could do that? No, 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 no. Rewind that back. I thought he was going to throw him and mix him up. Bruh, come on. Bro, Japanese players, they practice everything, bro. Why are you practicing that? You got Higuchi versus Mizuha. This is a weird one. I'm surprised they sent Mizuha on this team knowing that Higuchi is on the team. Looking like can definitely steal his round away. Oh no, he crouched. If he would have waited and crouched fierce, it's an anti. Oh, bodied. <laughs> you don't see that combo much anymore, but I remember when they first gave that to Kyle. You've seen it like every tournament. Well, I feel like it's rare you see that nowadays. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. That was such a funny time over, bro. Why did, why did this they just start whiffing mad buttons? Yeah, it's just like the neutral, like not even like outside of Sonic Booms. Like Higuchi's button placements are just... They just amazing, bro. What can you you can't really do anything? It's not that Mizuha is playing bad. It's just Higuchi's playing really good in a good matchup. So, mm, yeah, 
It's gonna be hard to win this now. All right, you got you got something. You gotta make it count. Ooh, was that a punch? I don't think so. Yeah, Gucci is Stone Cold Killer. Look, he don't even have no emotion. He don't care about this one. Oh, okay. So we have Oniki versus Ryusei, and these are what? This is the Oja Body Sword, and this is Roto Z's or FAV Roto Z and Red Bull. I don't even know, bro. This team is mad teams. No absorb on that. I, I, also, I think you should. You could absorb EX knees with Bison. I don't think it punishes it, but you get the absorb punch, and I think the punch is plus two or plus one. So you're at advantage. I think that's definitely something I don't see Bison use as much in a matchup. I think would probably be good. I think you can absorb the knee. I won't say I'm 100% sure, but I think so. Yeah, these EX knees, or just knees in general, is definitely killing Oniki. Ooh, the first command grab, done. And that's death. No meter. Oh, he dropped. It's okay. EX, yup, I was about to say EX here something, right? Ooh. Yeah, you gotta block that empty low. You gotta block the fireball. Damn, guess for game. Yeah, you can't guess right. That's not even a guess for game. That's just that's his game. That's checkmate. You put the mirror over their head and you get like there's not even three guesses. You get like six, seven guesses, bro. Like it's not even fair, bruh. Alright, so now we have Sako versus Dogra. I like Dogra going against Sako here because this is the matchup that Dogra would want. And I think this is a matchup Dogra is pretty decent in. I've seen him play this matchup quite a few times. He's pretty good versus Minot, I would say. And this matchup is definitely pretty good for Bison. There we go. We got so much of the clock down, but you got to watch out for Sako activation, bro. Japanese players... Eh have still never blocked a Psycho Crusher, bro. It's actually insane. Ooh. See, that's the Absorb I was talking about on the EX Knee last game that I think should have been used. But I'm not sure if it works again on EX Knee. So I can't say, but... You see, that move right there is pretty good. It's definitely good against some jumping attacks in the game. But Psycho looking pretty good. In good shape. Bison could for sure turn this around at any moment. Bison is a very explosive character. Yep, it could happen to you. It has happened to me multiple times. Oh, and that's the start of it. Regular throw, yep. And now you're about to start guessing left, right. Uh-oh, is it left or right? Oh, it ran out. Wow. Oh, he's still alive? Oh, my God. Was that cross-up? See, I can't even tell if it was cross-up to say he blocked the cross-up. I mean, I don't know what they hitting each other with, to be honest. Okay, nice ant here with the orb. Mm, wow, and then what knowledge to know the air-to-air -air like that. Oh, one more orb for Sako. Oh, is that it? Oh, no. Sako's just hitting the wrong buttons, I feel like. Oh, the confirm! Bro, Dogra is definitely just like not blocking really. He's kind of trying to evade and avoid everything. And now Sako is somehow back to controlling this neutral in this matchup. Oh no. Oh no. He actually would have killed? No. He woke up buttons. Damn. So we have a Kara versus Tokido. Okay. This is very exciting. I like that. They saved Akira for this because Akira had been playing on fire. Nice confirm there. And got to stay on the same side, but oh man. Oh, you can do that? If it hits like that? Oh my god, he blocked 100 100. Woo! Snuck that in there. That's been a Akira special. I think Akira has done those a lot like dash, walk back, shimmy, dash, back dash. Nice anti here. What? 
Bruh. I ain't never seen a Cami player wake up with seeing heavy kick, bro. I, I don't know if that's a good read, but that was a good DP. I mean, when you do something like that, your reactions actually go up. Trust me, I know. When you do some crazy stuff like that, make a crazy read, you can react to anything after that. Oh, can chip. Yes. Nice. I'm surprised Sokito didn't opt the EX head right there. Since I would think that... Oh, Akira checking... I thought he was checking this here. Oh, he's talking. He got mad close. Second. He started touching it. I was like, damn. He really flexing on you like that, Tokido. I hope Tokido go back to Akuma. I would love it. But I don't think... Yeah, I know that's not what we were going to get. But I would love to see Tokido go back to Akuma for the one time, bro. I would just... I just love to see his Akuma, man. It's magical, honestly. Wow. Why would you even think the uppercut? You got hit by Yuri and Stan Medium Kick. That's like one of his most least used buttons. And it leads to nothing. I don't know why. Oh no, Mr. Punish. But it's definitely not over. Oh no, Drill. You can't keep jumping back if you're Tokido. Akira is going to drill one of those. Oof, but that Tokido unblockable EX tackle. Oh my god, what are you going to do, Tokido? Tokido, Tokido, he's, oh my god, no super? Oh no, you got some for game, oh, you, you won. Wow, that's why I was saying, I like that they save Akira to, for this position. Akira's been playing amazing, should honestly stay the anchor for this team's duration, because Akira is playing honestly so, so good. Oh no, that's one hit, one hit for Akira. Yeah, you gotta take the throw if you're Tokido. Oh, you're dead. Oh man, that was free, huh? Bro, Akira have been, I think Street Fighter League is like, this is like Akira's really showing out here, right? Like, it's amazing, like Akira's been playing so good. Akira have been playing amazing and this is going to be the end of the video so let me know what y'all thought of Akira's gameplay especially and just throughout all the matches what was your favorite and you know just leave a comment leave a like and you know what I'm saying I will see you in the next one.